Hey guys, so this is one of our signaling pathways that we talked about in class. Uh, it's a special class of GPCR, it's called transducens, and uh, this is used in the rods of our eyes to detect light. So you might notice that instead of having a ligand bind to the extracellular domain of this receptor, we have a special molecule actually embedded within the receptor itself. Um, and in this case, we, we gave the example of uh, cis-retinol which once uh, light is absorbed, uh, you get a conformational change uh, converting cis retinol to trans retinol or all trans retinol. And this change is detected uh, basically similar to a ligand binding. There's a conformational change and we activate our G protein. But first of all, let's look at what the rod looks like uh, in the dark. So there's this ligand gated ion channel, the cyclic GMP gated ion channel uh, present on these rods that it turns out they're constitutively open uh, when, you're, when your rods are in the dark. So these are gated by cyclic GMP, cyclic GMP, And while these are bound, we're letting through uh, sodium and calcium. So you might remember that calcium is a important secondary messenger. It's going to, going to activate a lot of different pathways. Letting sodium through, however, uh, will actually change the membrane potential and uh, potentially cause an action potential that can be propagated to the brain. So. Once light hits this uh, receptor, changes the the embedded molecule, and and the conformational change is sensed. Uh, the story is similar to other G proteins, where uh, we get activation and dissociation of our G protein, so our alpha subunit floats off, and our beta gamma unit floats off. And we get the similar story of you know, swapping out our embedded GDP in your, our alpha subunits uh, with GTP to get an active form. So that's GTP in red there. And our beta gamma subunits are going to float off and, and kind of do their own thing as well. Now, uh, the way this pathway works is our alpha subunit is going to activate a molecule or an enzyme called uh, phosphodiesterase. So I'm going to just draw them like this, phosphodiesterase. And what this guy does is he's going to take um, cyclic GMP. And we're going to open up the cyclic structure, converting it uh, just to GMP. So by doing this, we are basically depleting uh, the cytosolic levels of cyclic GMP. Ooh. This goes down. And uh, what this does is essentially shuts down this particular ion channel just because we're, we're depleting it of its ligand. So if we're shutting down this particular ion channel, we're stopping the influx of, of sodium and calcium. Uh, and what we get is actually a hyperpolarization of the cell. And that's detected um, by the brain as a signal saying, hey, there's light detected in these particular rod cells. So this is the situation um, going from low light to uh, you know a bright light situation hitting these cells. Now, once we have depleted the calcium um, within the cell, uh, you know we've we've stopped the influx of calcium through this channel. We have pumps now now getting rid of it from the cytosol. Um, we can regenerate cyclic GMP through an enzyme called um, guanylate cyclase. Guanylate cyclase. 
So guanylate cyclase is typically inhibited by calcium. Um, once we stop the flow of calcium in, start shoving calcium into the endoplasmic reticulum, pumping it out of the cell, um, and we drop the, the levels of cytosolic calcium, we reactivate guanylate cyclase, regenerate cyclic GMP, and we can reopen our channel. So the way this uh, is translated to the brain is in your rod cells, Typically, um, in dark conditions, since you're getting the depolarization from the sodium floating in, you're actually releasing glutamate as a neurotransmitter, uh, which is detected um, by by more neurons that can be, uh, you know, sent to the brain as the signal. So once light hits. We can shut down this signal, you know, shut down those cyclic GMP gated ion channels. We, we stop the release of glutamate, and that is detected by the brain um, as a signal. And once, uh, once the cell is deactivated, we regenerate cyclic GMP, we, we start releasing glutamate again, um, and that is also detected as as a signal to the brain saying hey now the light is has stopped hitting the cell we're back in the dark and it should be detected as such i hope you guys found this useful uh good luck studying and i'll see you in the next one